In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who filled the priest and martyr, St. Maximilian Kolbe, with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love was that he laid down his life for us, so we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means sees a brother in need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I believed, even when I said, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, no man is dependable. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful one. O Lord, I am your servant. You have loosed my bounds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful one. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. I was not, it was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, 
and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Today, the church celebrates the feast day of St. Maximilian Kolbe, priest and martyr. His story is a really quite inspiring one. He was a Polish priest during World War II, and his monastery was captured when the Germans had invaded Poland. He and the other priests there were sent to the concentration camp called Auschwitz. And there, you know, laboring among the other prisoners, there was a a jailbreak there. One prisoner did manage to escape from Auschwitz and as a retaliation to kind of further quell any other people from trying to escape, the German guards had chosen ten people there to die as a kind of deterrent for everyone else to strike fear in the hearts of all the prisoners there. Chose ten persons at random to be executed for that other person that had escaped. And of those 10, as they were being taken away to die of starvation, one called out for mercy to the guards and said, I have a wife and I have children that he had hoped that he would be able to go back and see one day. And he was shown no mercy from those Nazi guards. So in a moment of incredible generosity and compassion, St. Maximilian Kolbe volunteered to take the place of the other father said, I will go to die in place of him. And so they swapped places and they swapped uh, prisoners and he joined those other nine in, uh, in that terrible death of starvation. What's most striking about the person of St. Maximilian Kolbe is how he got to that position in life to be able to give his life in so generous a way without really a second thought in the moment. I think it's important to always trace back those kinds of roots and you know to recognize that in order to get to a place that you could give your life for another person it requires many smaller self gifts leading up to that point he and his other fellow priests at his monastery were known for incredible acts of charity they would never turn anyone away that was seeking help from their monastery whether it be food or clothing or or whatever else they needed, they were always known to be incredibly generous with the poor, always seeking out the people that were uh, in need of assistance. They were constantly giving of themselves every single day. And it was those small little acts of self-gift that allowed him in this uh, really pivotal moment uh, in Auschwitz, it was those small self-gifts that allowed him to make that great sacrifice of himself, martyring himself for the sake of others, taking up Christ's cross in you know, the truest possible sense. And I think for all of us, my friends, so too, we may likely never be called to give our life for another in the way that St. Maximilian Kolbe did, but we never know, do we? So the goal, I believe, for our lives is to follow in his footsteps of those small sacrifices. Each and every day we should look for opportunities of some self-gift, of some self-sacrifice on our part, so that if we were ever called one day to make such a great sacrifice as St. Maximilian did, we would be ready to do so. We would be eager to do so and would do so without a second thought. St. Maximilian Colby, pray for all of us.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We present our oblations to you, O Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of St. Maximilian to offer our very lives to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Maximilian Kolbe, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, Robert, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Lord, your servants, Sheila Upchurch and Peter Sansone, for whom this Mass is being offered, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they, who are united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with St. Maximilian Kolbe, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And at this time, we'll offer a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. Yeah. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Yeah. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that St. Maximilian received from this holy banquet. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.